Hey folks, welcome to the Wealth Transfer with TC. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys a quick update on Zion Oil and Gas. And I'm going to touch on 88 Energy, which is E-E-E-N-F. But first, before I get started, folks, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing information, giving you my thoughts and my opinion on that information. If you guys like these videos that I make, the support links are down below in the description and also the About section of YouTube. Now, currently, Zion Oil and Gas it's sitting around 14 cents and now I've been hovering down between the 10 and the 11 cents area for a while and people were starting to take advantage of that pricing point over the last couple of weeks as I've been showing the oil prophecies and then there was another prophetic word from Lisa Graves and she talked about Zion oil going up but she also saw it coming down after it went up so I think that might be related to maybe a big oil move uh, in the overall markets or Zion Oil could release some information that could cause the price to go up but if you've been in this Zion Oil as long as I have we've seen that over and over and over again and that's one thing that I can say that this is not an investment that I just recently got into this is something I've been involved in for years and I've been through the ups and downs I've been through not finding oil and the stock completely collapsing I've been through all of that, and some of you have been in it longer than I have. All right, so getting to the update, uh, April 7th, 2022, Dear Zion Oil Supporters and Shareholders, Zion continues with progress to production testing for Megiddo, Jezreel, MJO2 well in Israel. Additionally, the process for evaluation of a well proposed by geophysical team is actively continuing along with the arrival of technical staff from the United States, Canada, etc., we are eager to complete equipment inspections and run downhole for the final completion phase. I'm in Israel along with Monty Nice, our COO, taking part in meetings with the Israeli government and observing our crew at a key stage of our operations. We are looking forward to our supervisor committee meeting with the Israel government along with local municipalities. So right now is what I look at is uh, this was back on April the 7th. So whoever is supposed to arrive from wherever United States or Canada, they should already be there. They talked about being eager to complete equipment inspections and run the downhole for the final completion phase. Right. So it looks like they are in the final stages of this project based off of the information that we currently have. Right. And they're meeting with the Israeli government and, you know, maybe planning for the future if they have a successful well. Now, prophetically speaking, I just want to say this. There's a lot of you know words about uh, Zion Oil. And some people, and the first one is uh, Kim Clement. And he talked about Israel being the number two exporter of oil in the world. He said that a long time ago. And in order for that to happen, a lot of things have to change in that geographical location in order for that to happen. We've also heard prophetic words that they're drilling in the wrong spot. We've also heard prophetic words that they won't find any oil or gas until Israel expands their borders. For all we know, it may not have this fine, may not have anything to do with oil. Maybe they could find natural gas. I have no idea. I am involved in prophetic investing and I do look to see what people are saying and hearing from what God is saying, right? At least that we think so. Now, going back to the Texas oil prophecies, uh, even if Zion Oil does go up, it might have to do with the whole industry as a whole going up. And you still want to take advantage of that. Now, even if they have news and they have a viable well, right, it's going to go up, but it's also going to come back down. And that's because they're going to need money to continue operations. And a lot of people don't get that. So even if it shoots up to five or ten bucks, Right? It's going to come back down because they're going to need the money to continue to drill more wells. So if you're holding for the long term, uh, you're going to be holding for years because they're going to have to continually drill in order to increase their oil production. So there will be a stage where this thing is going to be shooting up. And I need you guys to be aware of this. If you're not in right now, I'm going to tell you this because it's going to go up and then it's going to come back down. And I don't know how far it's going to go. It's just going to depend on what kind of news that we're going to get. And I'm sharing that for, for people who are not used to doing a lot of trading. Just get what you can get now 
when it goes up there's going to become a time when eventually it's going to come back down do not put yourself into a position where you're invested now and then it goes all the way up to say five bucks and then it comes all the way back down to like below a dollar right and you didn't sell at any of the upper points so and i believe just like any other company there's always going to be opportunities to get back in at a low price so with this we may not hear anything for a month or two or they might try to stretch it out now keep in mind folks israel is in one of the hottest spots in the world any type of announcement of finding oil is going to it's going to rattle the entire region. So those are all things to consider that how long it might be before we find out anything. The next update is going to be probably the most important. So we had an update on April the 7th, February the 16th, and January the 10th. So it just looks like uh, it's about anywhere from three to five weeks we should be getting the next update. That one is going to be very important. And we have to watch the language. Being involved in this and looking at all of the past updates. And I've done that. I have it on my videos where I go over all these different updates. I went through uh, all the updates leading up to them having to plug up the well. I'm going to be wanting to make sure that this is not something that's going to lead to another plugged well. But regardless of whether we get an update that's going to push Zion Oil up or as a whole... Uh, the oil industry, we look at the uh, prophetic words. Christopher Harris talked about $200 for a barrel of oil and then also $9 a gallon in gasoline. Now, the next thing I want to go over is the short interest of Zion Oil. And this is going to be pretty insane uh, when I show you guys this. And it's probably going to make a lot of you mad. Um, the volume uh, that was for Thursday, which is the day before uh, Good Friday, it was very, very low. It wasn't too much going on. But you can see that the short interest uh, actually got up to about 50%, um, 50 in some cases over 50%. The day before the announcement, it really didn't come down too much uh, from its previous day. Uh, but, you know, they know that we're watching uh, the short interest and the timing of the updates. Because I've showed you guys information about some things that I saw that I thought were very, very shady when it comes to the shorting. All right, but this is... The fails to deliver. You know, it's too bad that we can't get updated information on a daily basis. You know, on a daily basis, you know, how many shares are failing to deliver, right? So these people are shorting the stock, and then and then if they don't cover, it becomes a fail to deliver. And I believe from the information that I have seen, if there's a fails to deliver, basically you have to like almost 35 days to be able to cover shorts that was the last time i looked up that information and that was a while ago so i don't know if they've changed those rules or not right so here you can see in march you have millions of fails to deliver more than the volume on some of the trading days on the 22nd of march there was 1.1 million fails to deliver a value of 132,000. On the 23rd, the price was at 12 cents, over 3 million shares at a value of 365,000. On the 29th, the price at 11 cents, yeah, over 1 million at a value of, of over 114,000. Now, some of these days could be combined, it's very possible, but it's still outrageous because the shorts have, I think, I believe, up to 35 days, right? So between this time between the between the 22nd what's what's 35 days from the 22nd so they have about until april the 26th to cover those shares and so they are going to be doing everything they can to drag down that price so they can cover if they're if they have to cover at these prices and you see where the price is at now if if this price was able to maintain all the way through the 26th that means all the shorts would have to cover at that particular price so just keep that in mind right now they could have already started to cover for all I know uh, they could have covered when the price went back down to 11 cents I have no idea because you know the stock market doesn't really give us that information uh, like we should be able to get it because I should be able to plan 
if they can see what retail traders are doing, then we should be able to see what short traders are, are doing too as well. So for all those who are shorting this stock, if we see this $200 a barrel per oil, you guys are going to be hurting. <laughs> That's the way I see it. All right, so those are just some additional thoughts. And folks, you know, like I said, I've been in this for a long time. Uh, this particular well is very, very, very important for Zion Oil. They have to have some type of positive news because it's going to be very difficult that if this well fails, they're going to have to, we're going to have to go through the whole process. Now, how long has it taken to drill this MJL2? It's taken a very long time. So they're going to need to start drilling somewhere else. They're going to have to plan it out and go through all that. So it might be a whole nother year or plus if this drill for oil fails, it's going to be a long recovery. So that's why I say if you see the stock go up, you know, and it depends on that information, right? If they have a good announcement and it goes up, you sell some, you buy back in at some point when it hits the bottom again. And if it just gets a bump from the $200 a barrel, then you take advantage of those prices too as well. All right, so here's another stock, 88 Energy. That is E-E-E-N-F. It is available on TD Ameritrade. Right, or if you're using Charles Schwab, there is a six dollar and fifty cent charge uh, with Fidelity, which most OTC trades are free. For some reason, they want to charge me fifty dollars per order, so I had to get it on TD Ameritrade and pay the six fifty. Okay, so there's a lot of good things about what's going on with 88 Energy, and right now I don't have time to go over all the different projects, but the website will be down below in the description. Right, and it's also going to be in the oil document that way you can look it up they have a lot of good projects going on yes they did have a drill that failed in alaska but it's not the only one like zion oil right they have a lot of other things going on and do the research on this what i'm going to do is i'm going to share uh, coach financial channel i'm going to share uh, the video that he just did three days ago about the update on eee and f all right i want you guys to subscribe Folks, I cannot with all of what is going on in the wealth transfer. It is impossible for me to keep up with every single stock and every single cryptocurrency. That's why I always say if there's somebody that's giving you a daily update on a particular stock or a crypto, then you need to subscribe to that channel, right? And you also need to follow the company like on Twitter, right? Because that's where most people a lot of times get their announcements from when they're watching a stock or a crypto they're on t Twitter and they're following these companies right or you can go to their website and you can subscribe to like an email update he's allowing me to share this video and I want you guys to subscribe just like I do with everybody else so you guys can keep up so just make sure you guys keep your eyes on the oil prices and keep an eye on what's going on with the war with the oil and gas too as well I'm still expecting uh, this Texas oil prophecy start to come to pass. So I thank you guys for listening. God bless. Here's Coach Financial Channel, and he's talking about 88 Energy, E E E N F. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over the recently released announcement from 88 Energy, ticker symbol triple E N F. Also, going to break down the charts and give you my price prediction on triple E N F uh, towards the end of the video. So, uh, just to reiterate, guys, not a financial advisor, make sure that you do your own research. Uh, if you find value in today's video, if you enjoy our updates, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Uh, so you can keep up with triple E N F and m among other stocks that we keep up with, such as. Uh, Zion Oil and Gas, Tesla, uh, occasional IDEX, IQST, Hemp, uh, just the overall market conditions. We also uh, share some videos on how to uh, read uh, technical analysis like I do on all of my videos, as well as uh, share some financial uh, information um, every now and again as well. So let's go ahead and dive into it. This was released by 88 Energy. It says, uh, kind of goes through the highlights here. I'm going to read kind of through the whole thing. Just typically the highlights or uh, kind of repetitive when I get into the paragraph. So it says 88 Energy is pleased to provide an update as on operations as it recently acquired Project Longhorn conventional oil and gas production assets in the proven Permian Basin onshore Texas 
US 88 Energy has a circa 73% average net working interest in these established production assets, which have independently certified net 2P reserves 2.05 MMBOE. In March 2022, the operator of Longhorn Production Asset successfully completed the first of a series of capital efficient workovers planned after the completion of the Longhorn acquisition. This workover was completed on time and on budget and has delivered an immediate increase to the total oil and gas production rates of the project. So um, <clears throat> says production of the Longhorn wells exceed 400 BOE per day gross. And at the end of March, uh, at the end of March 2022, this represents an increase of over 30 percent since the completion of the acquisition in mid-February 2022. The production increase provides additional direct exposure to the higher WTI oil price environment and accelerates payback on both the acquisition and of the assets and the capital investment in the workovers. Project Longhorn has exceptionally low operating costs, which provides high margins from production. First cash receipts from Project Longhorn were received by 88 Energy in March 2022, which <clears throat> comp uh, comprised the payment of approximately uh, 0.06 million net to 88 Energy. So the project that they, they acquisition, basically what they're saying that they had um, from Project Longhorn is already starting to pay them out and um, and going well. So it looks like it's <clears throat> excuse me a good acquisition on their part. Uh, Project Longhorn remains on track to complete the targeted seven capital development activities this year, which is expected to approximately double the current production rates by the end of 2022. Which you could only expect uh, double the production the rates of production, which would probably increase revenues, which would uh, increase the payouts to uh, 88 Energy. The acquisition of Project Longhorn represents 88 Energy's first move into producing oil and gas assets and is in line with the company's strategy to build a successful exploration and production company. The initial step has been undertaken in measured fashion via the purchase of a non-operator operated working interest in uh, the single basin focus. Project Longhorn contains well understood geology with low technical risk and provides a near term upside via low cost field development opportunity and then this is from uh, managing director and ceo uh, ashley gilbert says 88 energy is pleased to uh, pleased with the production performance at the project longhorn especially in this high oil price environment we're also highly encouraged by the successful delivery by the operator of the first plan workover as well as the continued progress to agree with capital development production or program for 2022 uh, this program is expected to result in a strong cash flow outcomes and further direct exposure to the current high energy prices 88 energy is a solid fine has a final i'm sorry is in a solid financial position with zero debt and a healthy cash balance that is expected to be further strengthened with projected cash flows from the project longhorn texas production asset so it goes on kind of gives you an outlay an outlook of uh, the gross reserves gives you a map of where everything's uh, happening in the permian basin this will be linked in the description below if you want to take a look at that. So uh, some more good news for uh, for 88 Energy. And we're going to take a look at the charts, take a, see what they're telling us. And I'll kind of give you my prediction um, moving forward. All right, guys, taking a look at 88 Energy, ticker symbol triple E and F. And you see here, this was around the time where they announced that number two was uh, a fail. And it fell down all the way to 0 0.0065. And uh, we talked about how it could stay here for a while before making its way back up. Um, we're just waiting on some type of uh, announcement or news, and this could be one that pushes it back up a little bit. Um, I don't expect it to pop all the way to like three or four cents, but uh, it could bust through that first uh, resistance level here, about 0.015. Um, but however, <laughs> my, uh, forgive me for being a little pessimistic here, because every time I think that good news is here um, and something's going to happen, it usually falls lower. So I have to just kind of wait and see. Again, volume's the name of the game. So if you get some volume here and some buying pressure, It'll push it up above there. I'm not sure exactly how um, much you'll see, however. So I currently don't own any of this. I am just watching currently, uh, but uh, we'll keep you updated as uh, time goes along. So anyway, that's all I got for you in this one. Let me know your comments below. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next one.